West Virginia. I'm Eric Ashby Brown. I'm Stephen Morbius. Hey, we got a guest speaker today. We're going to bring in and talk a little bit later with Coach Potter. Hey, Morbius, crazy stuff going on. I want to ask you a question. Uh, yeah. What are you more surprised with? Are you more oh, surprised man, we're with getting the into Nick it. Saban retirement, the uh, Pete Carroll firement, or just <laughs> just now in? Yeah, on I this show. It, on this show, actually, it came from the from the Hail Mary podcast, which is my big mm. podcast with Jason Kamlowski. We talked about this. <laughs> Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots are parting ways. Wow. What are you thinking? What's what's going on with that? That's for another show. We got a lot of football. We got a lot of stuff talking about local basketball. But you want to introduce our guest to us? Well, our guest today is a very special guest. Uh, he is the head coach of your Muscleman girls basketball, the eight and two currently. Yes, yeah. Uh, hey, Muscleman hey, right girls there. basketball team having an excellent season so far. It is Coach Potter. Thank you for coming on to the uh, Hills of West Virginia Welcome podcast. Welcome, Coach Potter. Welcome. We in. appreciate it. Uh, so, Coach, you know, just tell us a little bit about how the season's gone so far. Wins over all EPAC teams that you played so far. But well, we started off early. Started off hot. Played mm -hmm. really well against Hedgesville. Yep. Um, and in the last game, I thought we came off a little rusty at the mm -hmm. beginning. But the good news and exciting thing about this team is there's a lot of options this year. See, we didn't lose anybody. We got we gained um, some seniors were back. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of juniors back. And we have a pretty good freshman sophomore class. Um, so the, the exciting thing is it's somebody different every night. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, Jasmine Morris, I'll give her a shout out. She's been averaging a double-double, been mm -hmm. kind of that catalyst, mm -hmm. um, pretty consistent. Um, but she got in some foul trouble early, uh, and some things happened in the Jefferson game. So um, freshman Emily Stevens stepped up, Sarah mm -hmm. Price. And, um, I, and honestly, what I tell the girls every day is it starts with defense. Mm -hmm. um, so if we buy into defense first, everything else will come. That's kind of our, our focal point. But mm -hmm. that's kind of kick-started everything. And um, we've been finding ways to win, different ways. And it's exciting. It's pretty good awesome. stuff. Hey, Coach, I know when I coached at Hedgesville, and taught at Heads I was always invested in the school and in the team, but I really never had that connection with the community because I wasn't from Hedgesville. Coming back home and coming back here and teaching at Musman, I was able to be invested, you know, within the school. And after I leave, I'm still invested with it. How has that played a role as a Musman grad? Give it up for that Musman grad. Once an Appleman, also an Appleman. <laughs> To come back home and be a part of not only the program because I know you've coached here for a while, but also being in the building too. It's really unique. As, as a student, I um, also played here, um, also coached here as you yeah, mentioned with the boys yeah. and joined the girls. Uh, it's really cool. It's a unique experience. It's really cool to come back and feel get back to that family atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what I've been trying to install from day one when I got hired was make it a family atmosphere, install that culture, and, and honestly, it starts from. The, for me at the top down to the coaching staff down to the players to the managers um, I express how it's important we're all on the same page because mm -hmm. if one of those things aren't rolling like if coaches are having issues or whatever it, you feel that effect across the board so we all need to be on the same page and I think bringing it across as a, as a full team mm -hmm. and everybody has a very important role uh, I think that's really helped the buy-in yeah. And I think it's installed that family atmosphere that, hey, just because I'm the head coach doesn't mean that I'm the most important person yeah. here. You know what I mean? Right. It's kind of that right. atmosphere where we're all are very valuable, important, regardless of mm -hmm. your role. And it takes all of us to kickstart this horse. Gotcha. Well, it's, it's all about culture and just coming in and building a family culture and a winning culture. But I'll tell you what, nothing is more exciting than big EPAC games. I mean, they're all big, but tonight it's Spring Mills. Um, you know, just tell us kind of, you know, what, what you guys are expecting. I mean, you've already played in a couple EPAC games and you've won them. Uh, so, you know, so just kind of go into like- Morbius, tell fans, is that, uh, is that home or away? Uh, I believe it's home. Or is it away? We're away, the boys are home. Tomorrow. Boys are home, I got that mixed up. I thought, I don't know why I thought. Sorry, okay. ladies and gentlemen. Right, it is early right. in the morning. Make <laughs> sure you know where you're going, okay? Yeah, well, you know, so you Sats told me before, that he told me that the, that the uh, girls were away, and I don't know why I got it reversed in my it's head. Okay. It's but it's all right. It we, yeah, we all make mistakes on like the Friday. hills. Yeah, it feels like it's been a long week. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, Coach, just go into a little bit about the, you know, the preparation for games like this and how you think, uh, you know, the, the girls are prepared for this game. Uh, well, like you said, uh, the EPAC games, if you're not hyped up for that, then there's something wrong because those are the, that's the meteor scouts right there. Those are always exciting regardless, home, away, you name it. 
Um, but as far as preparation, um, game film, we get to it. We, we don't look too far ahead. So right. we always go at who's in front of us, whether it's conference game or not. Um, so Spring Mills, we've watched a lot of game film. Um, we've seen them against different teams and seen a lot of things they do. We know who kind of their go-to players are. We just break it down together in film room. And then we execute out in practice. We make it game-like. We try to have opposing players act as if they're Spring Mills, act out their game plan, and we try to just execute there, and then we let it translate so we're not thrown off guard. And that game. plays a role into that JV squad, the importance of them, because you're only as good as what they give you in practice yeah. uh, night in, night out. Correct. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah, no, I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, when it comes to the JV players, it's all about, you know, can you develop them as well? I um, mean, you because, know, again, a lot of programs kind of forget about those guys. You know, mm -hmm. they just kind of throw them to the wayside. Um, so, you know, li like I said, Coach, it's been a remarkable turnaround from last year. Um, I believe you are the new head coach, right? The, the, so it just came in. It just, just came, came in. in yep. Talk about an immediate impact, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Eight and two this year. Insane turnaround. Great turnaround, yeah. and uh, congratulations, yeah. Coach, on the hot start, and good luck tonight. Hey, and I, I got we got we to gotta pick the game. I, well, I, mean, I got one more question <laughs> we for, pick for the game. Coach. Coach, I know that basketball runs deep in your family, and I know your wife, Kelsey, uh, <laughs> because I she was a student of mine at Hedgesville, and she was a basketball player. So here's the last question for you, Coach. One-on-one, -on -one, playing the 10, <laughs> who's going to win that one? Uh, it's, you, you, I say me. I say I take it easy on her. We we did this. It's funny. We okay, did this. Okay. We started dating. There's a video on it. I have to bring it up sometimes. All right. Back when we started dating, and she won. We I was Matt playing around. Yeah, yeah. And I kind of let her get a couple easy ones. You okay. Know? Okay. And, and then it came down to the final shot. She pulled this fade away on me and drilled it. I got to give it to her. All right. All right. Yeah. So we're going family basketball though. I'm digging his mom. It, your mother? <laughs> yeah, she she, she has some history at this school, too. She was actually part of uh, the Carol Kaminsky era there. What year did your mom uh, graduate? Now we're now we're really backtracking okay. here. I can't think of the top of my head here with that one. Okay, but, that's uh, all right. <laughs> sorry, Mom. All right, so Dee. <laughs> she was my Sunday school teacher. Okay, so. So I've known, I've known Coach Potter since we were little. Dee, uh, family roots in yeah, basketball. Even that was an alumni affair with Muslim. That's how far back we're rolling here. Awesome. So, so it's pretty cool. Awesome. So welcome. Uh, Welcome to the, the Musman Appleman family back in. Yeah. And we wish Welcome you the back best in. of luck. We're going to keep Thank him you. on board, aren't we? We're going to have guest, guest pickers. Do you want to stay? You got some time or you got to oh, go? Oh, I can stay. Because right. oh, we, <laughs> we got a huge show, ladies so and gentlemen. So whenever yeah. you got a roll, we got you. But hey, if, you, if you're watching, hit subscribe on the top button. And remember that Duck Donuts is sponsoring the show today. <laughs> Duck Donuts. So, all right, Morbius, let's go. What so, we got going on? Well, the first thing we're going to talk about a little bit is we're just going to reflect a little bit on our national championship picks. I picked Washington. I picked – do I get another trophy? Do I win another <laughs> one for that? You'll be able to keep that one. Uh, I don't think that – look, guys, I don't even think that game was close. I, I truly it wasn't. don't. I think Michigan owned the front line. They, they made uh, – Michael uh, feel very uncomfortable back there in the pocket. It's like what we talked about, like right as the game started. Right I as the game started, started, you and I were talking. It's, it's going to be that Michigan defense. It's going to be on them. Yeah, they they showed up. Phoenix was not able to hit the. Very defense. uncomfortable, yeah. and they could run the ball at will. They really well, could run the ball. I don't want to say Washington wasn't up for it, but when I when I saw kickoff and Michigan came out on offense. Okay. First drive, they just ran the ball yeah, yeah. right down their throat. Washington and it wasn't looked even Blake dead. <laughs> it, was, it, was they, it looked like it's gonna be a long night. It looked like they just got all the juice taken out of them. Washington after that first drive, it was done after. Could that. you hear in your brain, "Hail to the victors"? <laughs> No. Was that going through you? Okay. No, what was going through it was I'm taking another loss thanks to Michigan, and I and, can't and believe it. And they figured, it. too, all the, the extra – I guess it was pressure, but you know they had an extra element to it, the hard ball. Oh, yeah. The, the moment yeah. John went on the sidelines, yeah. it was over. He's been yeah. waiting for this moment, you know what I mean? So. I still can't believe they allowed Michigan to get to that point after the whole cheating scandal throughout the year. That kind of blew my mind. Like They actually – it didn't even, wasn't even a thing. And after right. it was over, it wasn't even like, oh, they're playing for the national championship and they had a cheating scandal <laughs> yeah. in the same season. But shout out to them. I mean, they, yeah, they, shout they, out. They yeah. put it to them. They shout out. Cheating them out. They put it to them. So we got national Sorry. championship. Yeah. What, are we, what, are we, what are we doing? Well, we, yeah. And also, again, like you kind of touched on at the start of the show, uh, we have some insanity going on. But, the, you know, yesterday, 
craziest 24 hours, I think, ever in football history. I called a Pete Carroll on my fake show, so you can't see that. But Pete I said, <laughs> what about Pete Carroll? Now, I didn't think he'd get fired. I thought that he would maybe step away. At well, he got two. fired by reassignment. I you know. retired. Yeah. And I didn't read all the stuff about it. I saw the post and stuff, and I assumed, oh, he's retiring. And then... Morbius this morning telling me that news, and I was like, are you sure? And he said, yeah. Sure. Well, you now listen, let, let's get, he's still, yeah. he's still with the Seahawks. He's That's just right. as an advisor. Demoted. Right, you know, okay. He got, okay. so, yeah. but still, mm. you know, I mean, and Coach Potter, I mean, you know, I, I don't know what your favorite football team is. Uh, um, but, uh, well, if you want me to be honest, I, I had to cry the other day. The Colts were one yard away. Oh, man. <laughs> From a playoff first. Oh, and then, and then, Jackson, then Jacksonville lost. They weren't just one yard away. They were, they were yeah, fingertips away. Fingertips away. <laughs> All right. Um, but, yeah, no, I mean, look, Pete Carroll, it, that, that is huge. But then it got even bigger because then Alabama roll tide ain't going to roll anymore. Nick Saban retired. That shocked me. That you see, Pete I was Carroll. I more shocked by that one. I, I thought. I say Nick Saban goes back home to Rachel and becomes the defensive coordinator for the North Marion Huskies next year. <laughs> <laughs> Let that be something. Fairmont State needs a coach. <laughs> well, you know what? The thing about what they. Fairmont State football team needs. Could you imagine? Even if they had Nick, do you still think they would beat uh, Fairmont Senior? Oh, they would. You got Nick Saban coaching that. I don't know. All right, what about Lane know. Kiffin? <laughs> what, what about Lane? I mean, is is this deal going to be done really quickly, or could we see Kiffin uh, in uh, an Alabama? Uh, that, that's what I, so mean stats were talking about it before the podcast. And, you know, the thing of it is, right, I mean, he said, well, kids are going to transfer right away. But if they can get a big-name coach like Lane Kiffin, do you think they can I think can they're going to make it sooner than later. You're right. the personality I can see that would come in and be able to follow Nick Saban. But I've also heard the defense. Have a certain ego to come in and say, "I'm going to follow Nick Saban." I heard the defensive coordinator might be up for it. I think. Um, I, I don't know this. I don't yeah. know that. I can't have a confirmation on it. You almost wonder too if this was how this was already kind of planned. You know, like Duke or Coach K kind of hung it up. Already had John Chai it, ready to roll. They wonder just kept everything the kind of down behind the scenes. Yeah, that might be true. Well, <laughs> Nick Saban's gone. But then. You know, I, I had to ride the bus this morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you don't wreck your car. Okay. Um, <laughs> Did you hit a bus? No, that was last year. <laughs> that was last year. Okay. But right. this year, this year, no, it was a completely different situation. Gotcha. But then a completely different situation happened this morning as uh, I got a notification on my phone from ESPN. Old Shefty, okay, reported Bill Belichick and the Patriots are parting. Now, here's the thing. Pete Carroll thing. We kind of saw that, though. Well, we saw that kind of coming, but it's still big. Now, let me happened. pitch this. Let me pitch this to you. I know you are a Washington Commanders fan. Oh, uh, yeah, don't remind now, me. You got it. the Naval Academy <laughs> right there in Annapolis, which he's he's. Don't dying even to. say it. You don't even say it. You got, oh, uh, no. what, second pick overall? Oh, no. In a he's quarterback say it. <laughs> heavy. Could you see this? Did you see Belichick? Coming it, to the nation's capital? If Dan was still in charge, the deal would have happened in week eight, okay? <laughs> it would have been done in week eight. Bill would have been a commander. Um, would New Washington ownership give Belichick the control? No, control? look, Josh Harris has already said, I mean, they've got, fair. they've got Bob Myers in from the Warriors who, you know, I, he's not going to make any football decisions, you know. He's, from, he's a basketball guy. But he does know how to build a winning organization and a winning brass. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to come and kind of help advise Josh. And then they've also got Rick Spielman from the Vikings. What they want to do, what the reports have been, Josh Harris wants to model it like the Ravens. So you got an executive of football ops, then a GM, and then your head coach, yeah. and then the rest so of the team. That's going to be the standard. Yeah. I'm also, I mean, let's pitch uh, Sonny L.A., you know, with the oh, Chargers. That, I don't think that I could see – him out there though, I don't. I don't think that's a. Really season enough. I don't think that's a perfect fit, but I don't <laughs> think he walks away. He's how stats? How close is he to the overall wins record? He's very close. Very close. Here's I what I'll say. Here's where and I think he goes. I can't see him being a commentator. I can't. I just. I can't picture that. You know where he's gonna go, ladies and gentlemen? Down to Tennessee. I'm trying. I, I don't know if you guys can see it. This is supposed yeah, to be like. Hard division. Yeah, this is where the uh, rock and roll. <sighs> hard division, but you think the hoodie? is going to shy away from a challenge? I don't think he would. And I think you could see the switcheroonie where Mike Vrabel yeah, goes they, to New Rabel England. would be a very good fit. And yeah. then Bill, you know, goes to Tennessee. I could see it. Or, okay, 
Now, here's the thing. There's one guy in Vegas, and I know they got Antonio Pearson. They should absolutely keep him. Why, yeah, why hasn't they signed him yet? But mm. Mark Davis, starry-eyed yeah, right, out there. That's right. I could 100%, ladies and gentlemen, see Mark Davis saying, yeah, I mean, we all thought he should keep Rich Passaccia. He got them to the playoffs after John Gruden mirrored and all that right. controversy got fired. And then they, he got rid of him and then brought in a huge downgrade in Josh McDaniels. <laughs> Teams want to skin the Patriots alive. <laughs> they're they're well, gonna. I think they go with Belichick. Belichick needs if, if they, fifteen wins. Okay. All yeah. Time. So if playoffs. if nothing else, that's three seasons. You can yeah. get five wins maybe somewhere. Yeah. All right. So are we done with the coaching carousel? Yeah, I think we're done with the coaching right, carousel. No one next? cares about Ron Rivera or Arthur Smith. Although that was really funny how <laughs> Arthur Smith went out. Um, but no one really cares. Immediately, immediately on Black Monday, 12:01, Arthur Smith gone. Yeah, no, that might have been the funniest firing of all time, and how he got really upset that Jameis Winston, the greatest NFL player of all time, you know, just. I, I don't know. I mean, there's debates. The <laughs> well, I mean, it should have been done. Yeah, <laughs> I don't agree with coming out of victory formation, but I, it's you just. You were run the ball, run the ball. That's great. It's just score, funny. Score. It's just funny that Jameis was just like, no, we just wanted well, to do it. The Miami. Uh, I mean, Miami spike where Marino fakes the spike. I think so. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a few years back. Well, you know, but ladies and gentlemen, listen. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's playoff time. What? We got, nothing else, we got nothing else to talk about Play but playoffs. Like that You're not talking playoffs. about anything else but playoffs, okay? Playoffs. I don't think that's copyrighted. I don't know. Yeah. If it is, I'll pay for the. <laughs> You're gonna I'll, pay. I'll pay for it, okay? <laughs> Stephen <laughs> Morbius will pay for the copyright. All right. I think ESPN would have the rights to that if so. Okay, okay. So, you know, like, it, you know, uh, it's my favorite time of the year. I know I said bowling season was you my favorite time, time, time of the year. <laughs> but every time is my favorite time the, of the year. Maybe I'm just a happy person, guys. Am the, I allowed yeah, to be that? The United Football League. When United that Football out, League. That's going to be your favorite time of the year. Yeah. I, would, I would say that, but, I mean, the D.C. defenders will just break my heart again. You know, okay. so that there's two times that I don't like, you know, start of the NFL season, start of XFL, because I just know my teams are going to absolutely find a way to just disappoint me every year. <laughs> every year I say the commanders are going to win 13 games and they don't. I'm right with you ever since the Andrew Luck retirement. It's been yeah. pretty much a carousel. You know, yeah. you're just kind of you're just kind of there, <laughs> you know. So what do you what do you what we got on the playoffs? Well, we oh. got our very first game. And ladies and gentlemen, we got three picks this week, so yeah, it's, three. It's, it's it's the only way you can do the playoffs. <laughs> well, well, hey, now what he does is he usually picks. I, he'll let me pick it, and he'll just pick the same thing. So that's why I let him go. So, so I could be the shakeup today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's going to be that tiebreaker <laughs> if I right, need it. Let's go. Um, you know, first game, the most elite quarterback of all time in the NFL, Joey Checkdown, Joe Flacco, leading the Browns potentially to the Super Bowl, and he's going to be going up against. Uh, you know, who I thought at one point could have been the MVP, then got injured, and CJ. then, you know, CJ All right, CJ first, you, me, yeah. how are we going to roll with we'll this? Well, let our guest pick All right, first guess. today. Okay, guess who you got in this one? That's a tough one. Uh, I, I, I'm going to go with the Browns, just, just because I think that they have, have some experience. I mean, CJ Stroud's been phenomenal, but yeah. got to consider the factors. First one, uh, you got a Cleveland Browns team that's been playing really well all year. They've been through all types of changes, so obviously that's not a factor for them. I mean, Joe Flacco coming right in off the couch, ready to ball. Yeah. Yep. Their defense has been very steady. They were been a fantastic pick for me on fantasy, so I knew them very well. <laughs> but yeah. I just think that you yeah, add the experience factor. They've went through a lot of adversity and changes. I, I like them this week. With, here, here's what I'm looking for in January football. Can you play good defense? Can you control the clock? And can you run the ball? Uh, and that's where I think I'm going with you too. I think the Cleveland Browns are going to win this game. I wouldn't be surprised if Texans pulled off. Right. I wouldn't be surprised, but I honestly do think that Cleveland wins this one. Say, what say you, Morbius? Uh, <laughs> that national championship game is probably going to be the tiebreaker for us because we're just picking the same thing every single time. Okay, <laughs> I'm also picking the Browns. After the way right, I hyped them up, though, how could I not? Brown pick them? sweep. All right, you know, they, got that. I mean, everything that's been said about that game has already been said. Other than I'm not coach of surprised. the year. Here's my hot take: yeah, coach of either. the year, Kevin Stefanski. You have to give it to him. I know okay. D'Amico Ryan. I know. Flacco, yeah, literally, yeah. Joe Flacco. <laughs> he, yeah, he, yeah. It's his twin brother, a long lost twin brother, and I think they're around the same age. So it could, it could be true. And what's um, next up? What's next up? It's. Saturday night football on Peacock. If now, you here's the thing. Like, that's why I was rooting <laughs> yeah. for this, the when the, the Bills came. I don't have that. 
And I don't want to pay extra watch. I've never seen that happen ever before. Maybe if said YouTube TV was going to have it or mm. potentially or uh, or Prime Video, I think. Would have I mean, I have Prime, but I mean, I'm going to have to get like 15 streaming. All right. <laughs> Just to watch a playoff Just game here. Just to watch a playoff game yeah. next year. <laughs> so who we got? Who's, that is going to be a cold one from what I hear. Yeah, it's going to be like maybe close you look to up zero. We're looking at with the conditions. weather for this. So you got the the Dolphins coming in against yeah. the defending uh, Super Bowl champions. Yeah, Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs are looking a little bit, uh, yeah. you know. But the also, Dolphins, so, the yeah. Dolphins, though, they had, you know, He's you know what they did? Uh, okay. They choked. All they right. choked they it have, away. They, they had they the division there. right there. Yeah. They could taste it. Yeah, yeah. And they just snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. Coach, you have? I'm going with the Chiefs. Chiefs, okay. okay. And I'll tell you why, real quick. All right. Because I know they've been struggling, but you got Patrick Mahomes and yeah. Travis Kelsey. Two, I mean, yeah. all the experience. Yeah. The Dolphins have been playing yeah. great, as you said, as well. Yeah. Plus, the weather. Uh, I mean, I just, I just feel good about the Chiefs. It's just hard for me to see them going down this yeah, stats. Here's what I gotta ask: Is Taylor Swift gonna be in in the building? <laughs> if, if so, you're gonna pick the other way. Right? I am. Yeah. If Taylor Swift, <laughs> I mean, here, I'm picking the Dolphins in this one. If Taylor, <laughs> so let it be known for the record. Uh, this is the Swift factor. If she's there, I'm picking the Dolphins. Because I mean, uh, um, she, they haven't had very much luck with her lately, right? No, they haven't. But look, there's a little bit of extra motivation because it's Travis Kelsey and Visions. All 11 Dolphin players out there to be Joe Coy, okay, from the Golden Globes. He might, he might have that little bit of extra motivation and juice. Well, he's got a couple of weeks before she cashes in on breaking out with the Super Well, I'm just oh, saying, yeah, I that's... think she's been, she, she's just been in uh, uh, the, what, what am I trying to say? The distraction. The, not, I don't know the distraction. She's just Achilles the black hat. Yeah. The Achilles heel. She's just unlucky. The, yeah. um, she's unlucky for him right now. Zero degrees, about minus 30. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Miami's every, not used to that. Listen, <laughs> listen, this is the crazy thing about the playoffs, though. Every single thing points to the Kansas City Chiefs winning this game. And that's why I think the Dolphins are going to I mean, win. Listen, I'm I just, want. I'm going out I mean, here on a crazy, crazy thing. I'm a Mike McDaniel guy. I, I love like Mike him. McDaniel. Can we get him on the show? <laughs> if we, hey, if we can get him on the show stats, I, I think that, I'll, that I won't go to Morgantown. To get Pat going. He'd yeah. come in strong with the outfit right from the get go. Yeah. Right now, it might be a stretch. Yeah. Okay. I'm going so, with I'm going with Andy Reid and the Chiefs. It's I, just okay. So I'm I'm the outside. You're, but let, let it be noticed, she's not there. I'm picking the Chiefs too. And it's okay. just because I think <laughs> okay, the Chiefs, I just think that she's just been unlucky. Because how many games has she been there at home and they've lost? Um, I you think know? it's been since like that second Denver game. They've just been. I, I think yeah. I yeah. Really think that was when. I mean, she kind of started their uh, fall yeah. off. So here we go. Now we're moving into the Sunday slate. Uh, slate Super Sunday. So we got two on Saturday. Saturday. And we got okay. one. I won't watch because I don't have. Yeah, I'll watch it. <laughs> Shout out to John Morgan, you see, former alum of this school. Um, you, you didn't have him. I, you definitely didn't have him. Um, he, uh, he, you know, he's, he's in Morgantown right now. Is he watching friend. this live? Um, I'll send it to all him right, okay. and he can show all of his friends up there. And maybe and we can subscribe button. Thousands. Hey, hundreds, we got hundreds of thousands. Yeah, hundreds like of thousands. It. Hundreds and of then thousands. we'll share it after this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And soon it'll be millions. All right. Sunday. Sunday. And Sunday. And millions. Sunday. Sunday. Um, so the first game, uh, it, it's not, da- it's, um, Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, Pittsburgh and uh, Buffalo. Buffalo. Listen, I ain't got oh, no. much to say other now, than my, my good buddy, my picks Buffalo. Matt Webster. I don't even know. You, Matt's probably around your age. Uh, graduate, 98, graduate from here. Had his birthday yesterday. Big Buffalo fan. Uh, we were going to get together, but he doesn't know if our friendship can survive that. Um, <laughs> and, like, this is another one. that Every single thing says Buffalo is going to win this, Buffalo is going to win this. I don't know what Josh Allen's going to show up. I really don't, and I'm telling you, it, at the end, if this is close at the end, I can see Pittsburgh coming in and winning this game. I don't think it matters which Josh Allen shows up because Mason Rudolph's on the other side. Now, I, I, I know, put you, some respect on his name. Hey, hey I, I, I like Mason. Put I some the, respect uh, on him. The, the big one. He's a guy, I shake his hand. Love, love Mason as a, as a guy, as a, as a person. Yeah. As a quarterback. Yeah. All right, so I'm conflicted. Because on my fake show at the beginning of the year, I picked Buffalo and 49ers to the yeah. But I'm true to heart to the Pittsburgh Steelers. I cannot 
in good faith pick against my Steelers. Uh, although, here's another shakeup. I have heard that uh, win, lose, draw, whatever, at the end of the season, Mike Tomlin may move away, may walk away. I don't know. We'll mm. see. I hope not. Mm. Uh, but I'm picking the Steelers. It. I got Steelers. Coach, I, I, I stepped over bounds. What do you oh, got this one? I, I was with you. I was going to actually go upset with Steelers, but the T.J. Watt factor is what's making me say – he was I think he's going to run out of time. Yeah, he I might. Think run out of time. But if he yeah. does that, I might. Willis Reed, right? That's old school. Willis Reed running out of the tunnel. Because you said the turnovers with Allen. I, I agree. The turnovers have been kind of crazy, in the, especially the Dolphins. Could Red JJ and dress and, up as TJ? Okay. And come now out now and we're kind of talking a little bit about, you know. Is that legal? <laughs> <laughs> but I got to go with the Bills. It's, it's, <laughs> it's legal if nobody knows it's JJ Watt. That's the thing. So you know. The nose and everything. Yeah, they look very could similar. They put so you could do that. Could they just pick them up? See why not? Well, look. I'll pick tell you up. what. Why not? If TJ Watt does play the drug pharmacy in his leg, what about going TJ to be, Watt? What if TJ Watt? Plays? Seriously, I, I would go with the Steelers as the upset if TJ Watt was a, was ready to go. He is such a I'm difference you, maker. Man. Well, I'll tell. Watt's still there. They can have all three. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Well, now here's here's what I say though. Okay, I I don't even remember my pick before the season for the. I think I had the maybe the Jets in there, probably <laughs> Jets something, but that went up. You know, <laughs> three minutes. Three, yeah. Had, well, I remember I the Commanders in the Jets. Probably that that's you know what that's probably what it was. And I remember I tur- turned on Monday Night Football and I saw Zach Wilson throwing and I was like, "What is happening right now?" And I go to <laughs> they missed the intro. I missed the intro. I mean, you know, it, I just couldn't. I, I was only ten minutes late for the game. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. Oh my goodness. Well, um, here I, I think the Bills make it to the Super Bowl. I think this is the year. I think they get home field all the way through because I think Joe Flacco has an upset in him against his <coughs> former team. You know, and I think Baltimore gets bounced in the second round. Asked for another. But that's another, for – well, we week. ain't picking brackets. We got, We're just picking we got, games, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we this first. Um, and I think – so my pick is now Buffalo 49ers. So we're, we're on the same page here. I am. Um, and I'm picking reality, the Bills. In reality, I'm Buffalo 49ers. But in my heart, <laughs> in my heart, I'm p- and picking And look, the ladies and gentlemen, the commanders are out, so he can't hurt me. He can't hurt me yeah. in the pick them by picking against them. So I'm going to pick against the Steelers right now. Oh. I'm going to pick the Bills. Oh. Uh, okay. So that that's that game. All right. Then the, this is the game. This is the I've been waiting for. I'm a Commanders fan. Well, actually, this is not the game. Two games. But this is the we second game. Games. No, but this is the only game that I care about because it's my favorite time. It's a holiday in my household. Okay, every year <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys, their playoff failures. Jerry Jones. Oh, I can't wait for Monday when he goes on that radio show to complain okay. and talk about. I'm not my heart. So I'm telling you what, right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Kicks. Green Bay Packers, they own them in the playoffs. We know where he's going. <laughs> they own them in the playoffs. Oh, at 2016, Aaron Rodgers became my favorite quarterback of all time when Stats, he carried have the here Packers against the Cowboys. <laughs> it's going to happen here. Jordan right, Love. So you're picking the Packers. We know where Packers, right. baby. Coach, right. you got? I, I got to say, I got to give the Packers some props. They are playing well at the end. Jordan but, Love is really playing well. But – I think this is the year that they are going to at least get past this round. I, I do think they're going to beat Green Bay. I think they've been – I mean, they have been hit and miss, but I just – I don't know. I, I mean, not the Packers have been playing well at the right time. What do you got? Yeah. I'm going Cowboys. Oh. All right, listen, I'll tell you what. This is, this is hard for me as a Steeler fan. There is no love loss for the Dallas Cowboys. But I'm telling you what, stats – what's their record at home this year? Dunkin' Donuts is the broadcaster of this. Yeah. <laughs> Eight now. Oh, us. We it's got, hey, no. ladies hey. and gentlemen, it's going to be nine and nine. They're not going <laughs> to get beat at home. Uh, good season for Jordan Love. Good season for the Packers. But it ends on Sunday oh. as the Dallas Cowboys. Move. How about them Cowboys? Oh, no. oh, I, I, I will be saying that next week after they uh, lose. Okay, uh, I am so ready. And you know what I am right now, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, oh. I'm the lone wolf right now. Yes. I've, I'm the only person that picked the Well, Packers. there's a couple that I, I mean, I've been the lone wolf. Well, no, no, but I'm the lone wolf on this because this is my most confident <laughs> pick right, of the so week. This is my lock of the I don't week. Think I've been a lone wolf. We got another so one? Far, have I? Oh, we've got, a, well, we've got another one because uh, this Sunday night, okay, um, 
It might be the greatest story of all time I've, I think I've ever seen. Detroit. Oh, this is We're going to the yeah. Motor this City. This is a good mm. one right I just here. watched Bye Bye Barry the other night, the documentary. Yeah, show. on Prime. Fantastic. My favorite player of all time. I hope that Barry Sanders is smiling this weekend. I hope, that, I hope Detroit gets a win. Just, just – Get a win for Barry. But you got Matt Stafford coming in. You got Matt you got Stafford. You got great – you're indoors. McVay. The weather's not going to be a factor. Ooh. You got a group of receivers. Uh, Cooper Cup's back. Poop but still, cool. you know what? I tell you what. Uh, Detroit, uh, they're on a mission with that Dan Campbell. So, I'm going to take the first pick on this. Okay. I'm picking the Detroit Lions. Take you back to Dan Campbell's intro press conference. Biting Those kneecaps. Lions right now are biting kneecaps. Yeah. They're biting kneecaps and they're dragging people down. They're not biting. literally, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> not literally. So, okay, not I'm picking, picking lines. What do you got? I'm going to go opposite. I think Matt Stafford's coming back to, and he's going to light them up. Okay. I think it's going to be a close game. Though. All right. So you got the Rams. All right. Coach Potter, you said you didn't know if you're, you've been a lone wolf yet. I'm about to answer that question. Right he's now. so. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, you are. <laughs> because I'm also going with the Detroit, Detroit Lions. Lions. I, listen, I. A couple days ago, I was like, nah, it's it, same old Lions. But you know what? This will they team, go for two? If it's, if, it's, <laughs> if it's close at the end, will they go for two? This team <laughs> gives me a little bit of will that, that vibe. Check in? <laughs> right? I'm going to have everybody check in. I just have everybody. Everybody. Get everybody. Get whiteboards with them to show the ref. Hey, I'm checking in. I would have every, everybody just check in. <laughs> Anybody can catch the ball on this one, Call ref. Call timeout just to check in for everyone yeah. to check in. Yeah. Announce it on the Even Announce the it. Quarterback, you check into. Well, you yeah. know, th- this Lions team, you know, they kind of remind me of a completely different sport. But uh, the, the team they remind me of is the 2003 Boston Red Sox. Not four, not the team that won it, but the team the year before were uh, a little left uh, Pedro in the game a little bit too long in the championship series. I think the Lions get all the way to the championship game this year. And I think that's where they have their uh, loss uh, thanks to uh, Shanahan and the 49ers. But – you know, like I said, I got that too. I actually, think I opinion. think Detroit wins this game. I, I just something about it right now. Now, coach, something, we tell you all these picks are for pride. Yeah, we wanted to let you. <laughs> no know money, that. no money's on the line. We don't do that here. We don't just game, that here. This game was 50 50 It's all pride. It's so fifty. I'm excited. So we got a Monday night game too. Don't we got we? a Monday night game, and <laughs> I lied, ladies. Actually, it is a holiday when Dallas loses. But it's going to be a brand new holiday <laughs> when the Philadelphia Eagles lose. Give me Baker Mayfield. You got Saturday. Sunday, Monday. Wow. That's – hey, listen, football, it's it's the greatest time of the year. I That's love right. I love so, playoff time. So, what we got? Uh, we got Eagles, okay, um, versus uh, – or the Eagles versus um, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And, okay. uh, you know, Baker Tampa Mayfield. Tampa Bay going off a nine-nothing yeah. uh, win. Yeah. And, uh, uh. So, we're going to – coach is going to decide this first one. We're, we're going to let him Man. go with it. It, and then we'll feed off of it. It's, I've, I've thought about this all week. I was like, I don't know which way this one's going to go. I, I could definitely see it well, going either AJ way. AJ is playing, correct? Now, I don't know what Jalen's uh, status is. Jalen will status. play probably, but he oh, ain't. wrap that finger up and go. Yeah. 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 So, it looks like they're not going to have anybody out. They, they may consider no. the Eagles underdogs because how bad they've been playing. But I do think it's playoff time. I think they get a game plan right. I think they drew the right matchup for the first round compared to if all the other players. If you had to play somebody in the first round, it would be the Tampa Bay yes. Buccaneers. If Nothing had, taken away from them. But I, I yeah, think yeah. Tampa Bay is looking at this game and saying, if there's anybody to play in the first round, right. it's the falling oh, I, apart yeah. for hey, the Eagles. True. Eagles could you, just push their way all the way down the field. <laughs> You're right. You're right. That's good. <laughs> Look, you got, true. Coach. I think I'm going to roll with the Eagles, but I'll tell you what, I would not be shocked at all if Tampa Bay lights them up. You go. You go. There would be one thing that I want to say, three words that I want to say, but I'm going to keep it a little bit PG here because this is, you know, <laughs> The school yeah. podcast. Yeah. Uh, cry, Eagles, cry. <laughs> Give me Baker Mayfield. Give me Tampa Bay. Nick Sirianni, he's going to be crying again, <laughs> but it's going to be at the end of the game. It's done. Uh, Eagles are done. Listen. Put a fork I, in them. I have, uh, again, like you, I've thought about this game and determined what I'm going to uh, pick on this. And uh, I'm going to go with, the Philadelphia Eagles, <laughs> and I know that hurts you. I, I know that hurts you. Just the I just think too. I think the experience at the end of the game. I think stats is right. I think they're going to be able to move the ball. This is a game where they're going. I don't. Th- I think this is going to be it for them. I think they get beat next week, but I do think they get by Tampa Bay. 
in these playoffs. And then we have Baltimore and we have San, San Francisco, Francisco waiting in, in mm-hmm. for next week for hey, the next teams to come along. Look, I don't know how you know in dial you are with the uh, NFL conspiracy community. Um, but, you know, two years ago, right, NFL came out with a brand new logo design for the Super Bowl, right? And in those two colors, okay, it was the colors of the Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals, right? Really odd, right? But coincidence. Then last year, <laughs> Bengals are, oh, okay, okay. Chiefs and the Eagles colors were in the logo. They were the two what? primary colors. And then guess what happened? Oh, and this year, it's Ravens. It's Buffalo and, what? Ravens? That, it's purple and I guess maroon, yeah, red. Say, yeah. red yeah. So, you know, listen, if if it's <laughs> if it's rigged, we know who's going to the we Super Bowl. We know who to bet some money on, yeah. people. But we don't do that here. It's yeah, all we pride. Don't do that. It's, it's all pride. All pride. It's all pride. If yeah. we would. It's all pride. <laughs> so, um, and I feel like, oh, also, we got to pick. Again, I know it's high school. I don't know if you necessarily want to get involved. Yeah, you I probably, probably shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, you know, you don't want to get involved. Uh, it's not, it's not girls basketball, but it is the other side, boys okay. basketball. Yeah. Um, tomorrow night, uh, you know, here, it is here, not away. Are you sure? It is here. Okay. <laughs> Six um, o'clock. Show up for the uh, uh, JV game. Yeah, JV game. Watch Cam Cromwell go out there. Big uh, fan yeah. of him. Yeah, yeah. I'm really enjoying that Cam JV McClough. game. I don't know what stats. I don't know what the record is. At JV. Right now, um, they, they play. They, they play tough and very well. well. No, Co- Coach, Coach Damasi's Damasi, got yeah, them playing yeah, tough. Yeah, shout out. Got, got them going well. Um, you know, it's the uh, it's the Musselman boys basketball team going up against the Spring Mills. Now, what a difference a week makes. Okay, we it were does. seven and one, and we went out there. Now, granted, listen, rivalry games are always tough, and Hedgesville went out. You were there. at the Hedgesville game, right? Yeah. Oh, I of course the, I was at the Hedgesville. And were you? I was there last night. You should not be there. Did you? Was it last night? Or Tuesday? Tuesday, yeah. I, was, I, I wasn't there. I was sick, I, unfortunately, see, I, gentlemen. I went. Sunday. As a broadcast journalist, I went. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, unfortunately, sometimes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, hey, that your body fails night. you. And, and I you ate know, a burger. I was sick, you know. Yeah. I don't know what I had, but yeah. it was terrible. It was horrible. I was dying. Um, you know, so that was, that, was, that was my life. So I couldn't even enjoy football Sunday because I was so sick. Yeah. Um, so that was Sunday to Tuesday. I was back in school, uh, you know, yesterday, um, which was a rude awakening. I got to teach you in economics here in a few minutes. Oh, don't don't worry, we got time. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, like I said, um, you know, what a difference a week ma- a right. week makes. Um, you know, they went from seven and one to seven and three very fast. Now, granted, again, remember, EPAC is very tough, and I don't think we're going to go out there and get you know. I rank by teams too. They're top five in the state. Oh yeah, no, the, everybody, the everybody, maybe besides Washington. Maybe. Well, the Jefferson yeah, Washington game is I think in was, the I can, top ten. Uh, was around it within ten points, but at the end, they, they just uh, Jefferson got lights out there. Well, Jeff, a lot of yeah, threes. Jefferson kind of turned up. Musselman, if we if we want to beat Spring Mills, we have to. We have to finish shots. They have to go out there and finish shots. And I think they will. I think you they can't, will. We know we can play tough defense. They, they can go out oh, there absolutely. and they get physical. Yeah. They can out-rebound you. But the, the, the question is, when they have the We're ball, home. can they yeah, – The mean, fans are going to be here. They're going to be ready. Who you got? I mean, can I, listen, it's, can I pick against us? I'm, I'm not going I'm, to. I'm not picking against us. I can't pick I against pick Muslim, even though – I pick West Virginia. I pick Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, I, I listen. I, you know, are you going? Are you going game? Oh, I'll, I'll go. Now, um, I'm, hey, listen. I may not. My oldest son has a concert at Shepherd. I might have to be going to that. So, oh, uh, well, I, you know. Well, I, we'll. Uh, yeah, well, I'll we'll stats. With the highlights. Okay, they'll yeah. cover me with the highlights that one. Um, you know, like I said, hopefully, Muslim. It's going to be a major upset because, look. Spring Mill is the best team in the state. They beat, and how do I know this? They they beat the best team in the state. And to be the man, as Rick Flair once said, you Woo! gotta beat the man. <laughs> you gotta beat the man. And uh, look, look, they they beat the man, which was Morgantown. So last uh, words, Coach. Anything yeah. else uh, that you have for uh, for our uh, hundreds of thousands of viewers <laughs> out there? Now, I just appreciate you guys having me on. Uh, keep coming out, support the Lady Alphaman. I know. The recent years hasn't been necessarily the greatest, but we're off to a good start. There's some big start. things happening here. We're looking to go for it. Boys, you're going to win tonight or uh, Friday night. Upset time. All right, good luck yep. to you, Coach. Right. Thank you for yeah. being on the show. Thank for, you very much, Coach. For Eric so. S. Brown, you got Morbius. This is the Hills of West Virginia. Uh, back to you at the studio.